What the hell? Oh, this is so cool. Oh, he sees me. Oh, he sees me. Oh, he sees me good. Oh, 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 shit. Oh. oh, my God. I did not see that man. What's going on, guys? This is your man, Tootie Crab, and I'm here with another fantastic video. And today, I'm back, but with Ark. Um, so, I would have done Ark, uh, started Genesis a while ago, but I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Um, uh, yeah, it was just me dying, my buddy died, Zero, yeah, he was just dying, we were both dying, that's what it was for, like, a good solid two weeks, like, we got a couple times, uh, we got ourselves a fur fox here, this is, believe it or not, like, the fifth one, so, uh, he's got zero day survived, actually, we need to change that to one day survived, uh, but anyways, yeah, so today I'm going to be starting our Let's Play series on PvP. Um, from here on out, you guys will be watching our progress on, uh, on this PvP server. I had to be careful with what I'm saying so that way people can't, you know, you bastards can't stream snipe me or anything like that. But, yes, we will be doing our own, uh, let's play for PvP. Um, but, uh, anyways, moving forward. So today, um, I think we are going to be trying to gather enough materials for turrets. Um, right now we have two of them. One here that's uh, set up pretty well, and um, there's another one out here on this hatch frame over here um, that I'm still trying to figure out a way to get to it. I'm thinking about putting a ceiling here and doing like a ladder, maybe turning that into a door. I had to be careful with the walls because certain ones um, blow up if I remove certain things. It, it's retarded. Um, but that's what you get when you make shift build up on a side of or tucked away in a corner or something. Um, okay, so. Oh, and if you're wondering what the blood bags are for, these are for the blood stalkers. If you didn't know already, you team blood stalkers with blood bags. But, update. They just came out and fixed the Bloodstalker team, so now a 150 only costs 350 blood bags for a perfect team. Interesting, right? So, um, as of right now, I think I have my gunpowder finishing to finish off some ammo really quick. Um, I know it's not, you know, crazy lot or anything, but... And then I'm going to kill myself blood bag and start fresh with full food and water anyway so it took me about I want to say maybe two hours yesterday to get all those blood bags it, it, it's a it sounds a lot worse than what it really is um, I for like the first the first 10 minutes I was able to get a hundred plus um, it was just me taking my time working on the rest of the base that uh, it took two hours so it, it really doesn't take that long to get enough blood bags blood stalkers should be pretty I don't want to say easy and jinx myself so you know yeah <laughs> anyway, so I will try to jump that hatch frame. Um, dang, the only issue is, you know what? No, we're just going to build that ceiling and ladder and wall. Um, I need some stones. Come here, HLNA. Uh, let me see if I can access you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There we go. Good day, Survivor. Here's what I've got. Alright, cool. So, um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Uh, when it comes to this shop, 
I would um, I would buy the secondary pack uh, just because it can give you a replicator. Um, but other than that, other than for that replicator, I those points are not worth it, man. Um, we spent forty five thousand hexagons on a tier three uh, loot crate, which is um, uh, for those who don't know, it is a a crate that pretty much spawns in gear. Um, you different levels of gear and stuff basically different tiers and uh, allows you to have better things um, well yesterday it uh, yeah no it's not yesterday it was like a week ago we bought one of those 45,000s and it just gave us a tappy saddle BP and it wasn't even a journeyman it was just an apprentice it was it was junk um, so it's it's totally not worth it to me um, unless you need a replicator then I'd spend the hexagons on a tier 2 but other than that uh, it, it's just it's not not worth it um, there we are okay, I gotta get a ladder will I be able to access that with a ladder Should be able to yeah okay. um so yeah, I wouldn't even bother with that. If I were you guys, I would use the hexagons on materials that you don't need. You could literally build a pretty decently good sized stone base um, with the amount of hexagons you can get. Um, you can build your smithy. You can you can do a lot, uh, especially when you complete uh, alphas. We've completed a couple of the alpha challenges, and um, that first payout's pretty nice. And it lasts quite a while for materials. Where's that built at? Will that work? No, that's weird. Yeah, if you're, um, what's it called? If you are OCD about placements, I warn you right now, this base is gonna make you lose your mind. This is, uh, Definitely not a base for the weak hearted. What? Are you shitting me? Okay, we'll go here. I don't think that's gonna work. No, it's not. This damn ladder is gonna give me the hardest time. Uh. What in the hell? Maybe, and I can't destroy that uh, stone ceiling. Let's see if we can replace it with a hatch frame then. Because, oh, yeah, fiber. Um, hmm. That thing's just being a little bit of a pain with me. Anyways, I'm doing this so we have access to this auto turret. Oh, motherfucker. See, that shit right there. Anyways, that's our auto turret. That's what we're going to be trying to repair again. Yeah, uh, for some reason that wall where my fence foundation is, is just retarded. And, um, yeah. So, let's try this. Uh, damn, what am I missing? Stone, is it? That's one. Okay. I was like, I just got an abundance of stone from that Alright. Uh, we'll get our walls back up. Oh, whoops, I didn't need two walls. And then I need fiber. Yeah, it's because, so if you look right here, it's because of this wall right here that I wasn't able to uh, place. Um, I don't know. Oh, I'll be damned. I can actually place on that stone ceiling. Maybe this will fix our problem from here on out. But, okay, so we need 
does that look like? Okay, yeah, we'll be able to. Okay. Get our hatch frame going again. Yeah, so if you're new to ARC, um, or not really new, or, well, new, it don't matter. Basically, I'm going to let you all know now that uh, this game is a very, um, for PvP, you got to be pretty crafty. Like, shit. Damn it. So, as you can see, we're pretty high up off the ground here. Um, originally, to get up here, I was having to jump on that Jenny and jump across and landing on that hatch frame with really good luck. Come on. Oh, come on. There we go, Jesus. Shit. Okay, yeah, I needed to be able to have access to that. Anyway, so this turret right here um, covers uh, basically any rockets. Actually, need to move it forward a little bit due to the fact that I just through down that uh, foundation because they can go underneath and shoot rockets rockets and that will really screw you up and I would do high on my turrets but yesterday we found out that uh, it pretty much kills anybody who comes in here on high on the ground, like way down there. It just totally wrecks them. So yeah, you can't do that. So we got to do medium, so it's not shooting people down there because we don't want them getting wasted um, while they're here. Because this is a metal spawn down there, and we don't want to take that away from people. Um, uh, you guys are going to come to find out that we're actually really nice for PvP. Everybody else is, uh, pretty cool. They, they don't really care. But, uh, anyways, yeah. So, ah, uh, there we go. Um, I'm going to show you guys pretty much the, the base that we're working on this episode and where we're at and oh, I don't want to do that um, and how the base is going because we actually finally have a another operational base we have one out in the snow but it sucks uh, it, it's really hard to survive out there um, there's just a ton of dire wolves it's we were trying to get fur foxes is what we were doing and it just oof, man this DLC really really hard to survive especially on pvb because you can find a spot <coughs> where you have good um good amount of resources like if you have metal you're good whatnot but every place has like a downfall so like this place hide we don't have hide we can't get hide um that that's pretty much our our downfall with this place now we could teleport somewhere and go get hide and come back so, um, the teleportation only works, though, if you have a straight shot to your base. But say, for instance, somebody was built in here, um, in this little, I'll show you. in this place over here, if somebody was built up, which, by the way, that, like, that right there, that's not ours, but if they decided to build up right there, um, that would block us from being able to teleport and swim in here. And the same thing with that side. So, uh, it's this map's really difficult to find a good solid place, and on top of that, um, this ma this map, excuse me, uh, 
Damn, I totally just spaced out what I was going to say. Um, sorry. <laughs> this map's basically, uh... Man, I really lost it. Anyways, this, this, uh, this, this map is a, kind of a pain. It's really meant for those who already have gear to travel here with their stuff and do this stuff. Because... All the tames when this for DLC first came out, it is just um, they're really hard to tame. So like giant turtles, we we had one. It was a max or not a, almost a max. It was a 135, perfect tame, 100% efficiency. Uh, we figured out how to tame them. You got to get one of the swarms from the trench. The best way to bring a swarm to a turtle, by the way is um, to swim backwards and at an angle up. Uh, that is the best way to get the swarm to stay following you, to keep following you, and bring a ghillie suit. I know it sounds weird, and I know organic polymer is a pain to gather, but you have um, hex, or, uh, little Esperornis? No, what the hell are they called? Esperornis. Those little guys that are floating on the water, um, they'll give you organic polymer that allows you to make your ghillie. Um, once you have your ghillie, you can just sit there and let them feed you. Uh, or you can kill them and give the, get the organic polymer, that, which allows you to make your ghillie. Well, with the ghillie, electric eels and those kind of things are not going to attack you. They won't shock you as you're slowly moving up. Um, you'll be able to do it with the relief of uh, not having to worry about dying from the stupid wild tames. Now, people have been saying that if it gets hit by, if your turtle gets hit by an electric eel or something like that, that it'll reset to zero. I have no idea. Um, that didn't happen with us. It, it took about, I don't know, I would say about maybe 30 minutes to an hour for a perfect... For the 135 ah, but the good thing is is you only need one we only needed one swarm once you get it there and you get it to follow the turtle that's the goal is you want to get close enough where the swarm follows the turtle <coughs> Excuse me. after a while the swarm will no longer follow the turtle and probably disappear do not worry your turtle will still tame um, you don't have to worry about that kind of stuff but uh yeah, that's uh, pretty much how you obtain the turtle. And uh, the bloodstalker. Um, yeah, so pretty much that's that's pretty much the easiest way to do it. Um, I I was actually thinking on uh, another way to tame the bloodstalker. You, you can get a deodon, and you can actually. Uh, let the Deodon heal you while the Bloodstalker is feeding on you. Um, I haven't tested it or anything, but that, that was another way people could do it without having to do blood bags. You just tame a Deodon. But, um, yes. Yeah. Anyways, though, we're going to... That guy there. Um, we're gonna check on the metal here. Dun, 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 dun. Which is finished. And then over here, we have what's left. So, yeah, if, uh, if you're running on Genesis, I feel your pain. And, um, I hope you guys look forward to our, our Let's Play. We're, we've been planning on doing this for a while now. And uh, it's just been a little difficult due to the fact of how hard it was getting on our feet. From here on out, though, regardless if we're on our feet or dying or repetitively, whatever the cause is, uh, we're going to show you guys. Um, I'm actually going to try to tame the Bloodstalker today, uh, which I will have you guys here with. So, I think it was like... 330 something blood packs for the blood stalker. Um, I'm gonna try to get to 350 blood packs um, because I, I don't expect to find a 150. 
Um, I really don't want like a low level, you know, garbage bloodstalker either. Shit. It might be in the box. <coughs> <coughs> okay, it is. So, um, I'm going to need this grappling hook. Okay. And we already have a spyglass. Probably gonna need a pike. Um, definitely gonna need. Um, gonna need a parachute. Probably a couple of them due to the fact that they can drop you. And just in case we'll make three of them. I'm actually going to use some of that uh, metal to make the rest of the flak armor just because, like I said, the, the PvP in this server is insane. Like, they, there is no... Nobody cares about you. They really don't. They just... Uh, I, I feel like everybody that is playing here, besides ourselves and a few others, are, um... They're, they're very, uh, they're very thirsty. They're very thirsty for blood. They are. Um, I don't know why, but... They are, big time. They don't care, man. They just want you dead. Just want you dead. Um, in other servers, they're... Uh, my main server, where... I don't want that. Our main server, where everybody's actually super friendly. And um, we're actually pretty good on that server. We don't have to worry about killing one another. Um, everybody's just there to build up, and we're getting ready for this DLC. And um, it's a it's a really good server. Um, I am on Small Tribes, by the way. Uh, if anybody was curious where we're at, it's Small Tribes. Um, so odds are there's probably a few of you guys playing with us. If you are watching Small Tribes PvP on Genesis. You guys are going to get to watch me freak the fuck out. Trying to tame these damn things. Um, this one actually needs to go up in this turret here. Okay, so the good news is I can get to the door at least. I'm a little blocked right there, but that's okay. Okay. Down. Come on, get in there. Uh, those are skins. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're gonna do this. I like how delayed our shit is. There we go. So, yeah. Um, I'm not gonna just hop in there with the, the blood stalkers uh, or with the blood packs. Uh, I'm actually gonna spawn. Um, a couple of times and see if I can find a good tree that doesn't have turrets or anything in it. If you're going to tame a bloodstalker on PvP, definitely check the trees for turrets. Because people, I'm sure, are claiming those for bases and um, yeah, we, we just don't want that to go wrong. 
Um, actually, I want to see what these bunny ears look like. Before we go, I want to see what these look like. I think these guys right here, uh, these fur foxes with bone skins would look so cool. I tried using a Jeroboa bone skin on it just to see what would happen. And, uh, can't use the bunny ears. Yeah, just to see what would happen. And... Yeah, it didn't work. And I can't close that door, which irritates the shit out of me. Um, I'm not gonna leave that down. I'm gonna retract that. We're gonna get down another way. <coughs> We're gonna use a parachute. We're gonna do the bog. We're gonna do the north. Uh, <clears throat> there, I know it's. I know there's a lot of. Uh, actually, let's say that again. I think they said the north was bad. We're gonna do south. <laughs> yeah, we've been seeing blood suckers like crazy up above. Um, it's insane. I need to see the coordinates though. <clears throat> We're looking at twenty-five, forty-five. Yeah. That's where this is. By the way, this little. Biome underwater thing is at 2545. There's actually quite a few of these, um, which I was glad because you can't build on the islands <clears throat> at all and it sucks. There's a few islands you can build on, but not a lot. Yeah. So the goal here is to get to one of these. Oh, that's a dude on a fucking rhino. Come on, make it, make it, make it. Fuck. the hell they're trying to build on that spire way up there hmm okay so anyways this is the kind of tree you're looking for uh, but it looks like somebody's got a base up there see that's what I was talking about is um, <coughs> Finding a tree with a blood stalker in it's gonna be a pain because people are gonna start taking over the trees to build in um, <coughs> See if we can find another tree And it's because players can be yanked off of their Bloodstalker by another Bloodstalker. Um, and I'm assuming they don't like that, so they say, Fuck it. Wow. What the hell? Oh, that's a 
of Sarko. Oh, he's seen me. Oh, he sees me. Oh, he sees me good. Oh, no! shit. Oh. Oh, my God. I did not see that man. Or fucking Sarko. Jesus. That scared the shit out of me. Oh, God. That was a good one. That was a good one. Oh, that was good. Oof. Okay. Back. Pretty sure we're right in the same spot that I died. Oh, no, no that was southwest. That was southwest. All right, so let's see here. Yeah, people build up here on those little platforms. You see it? Where that tree is? Like the perfect spot for somebody to build. That's where they're building. Uh, this is west. This tree looks west, right? Let me see here. You have to kind of judge. Yeah, see, like that's a west teleportation. Because you can only tele You can teleport or spawn here. And, uh... But they don't tell you where you're going to be teleporting to. Let's see here. And I have to be careful. I mean, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm probably going to die. Uh, fuck, are you serious? I'm going to die quite a bit trying to find a Bloodstalker. <laughs> I think west is definitely the way to go. <coughs> Let's see, use a grapple, get up there. Oh! Oh, shit. That's a cap bro. Oh, man, I... I totally dodged that first lunge I know he's still after me too Little bastard right, let's see this I'll oh. say let's see this parkour and fucking fall off oh, I thought that was a capro ah no he could be able to hop up on that It's hard to see if they're up there, to be honest, sometimes. Like, this is kind of a pain. Uh, let's see, I can get up here. Oh, fucking bug swarm. Here. Fuck. <laughs> Ooh. What the yes, hell? Lila. Fucking Sarko, are you serious? And them bastards are everywhere. Damn it. Uh, all right, I'll try one more time. I think we're gonna go with the west spawn though, I think is our best bet is going west. Watch out, survivor. And I'm dead. <clears throat> this is what you get to look forward to in the bog, by the way. This is death everywhere. Everywhere you go. Death. Alright, we'll do it one more time. Come on now. Don't be like this, you old crab man. Oh. That was a tough one. You threw me in a place. 
Yeah, so if you're on the bog and you're in this area, there's a bunch of glitches out here and a bunch of these things you can collect shit from, but there's a bunch of capros and a bunch of baryonyxes out here, man. This is not the place you want to be for bloodstalkers. If you're over here, you're just going to die. It's just death all over the place out here. And raptors. Damn. And everything out here... <laughs> I died by a capro. I didn't even die by the raptor. And everything out here is just... Uh, uh, an insane level. They are... Every, it's all 145s, 150s. It's... I rarely do I die by something lower than 80. But, uh... Yeah! Ah! Uh, mm. uh. Come on now. Really? Can't keep a true survivor down. Well, alright guys, that'll do it for this first episode. In the next episode, we will definitely tame the Bloodstalker. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it wasn't the most craziest episode of all time. Uh, but I was just more, I wanted to give you all a rundown on what we were doing, what our plans are, and uh, uh, kind of an introduction to the series. So, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all next time, TOD Nation. Laters.